Troops loyal to the king held the castle at Lincoln, while outside, rebels controlled the city. The defenders had to hold the castle until reinforcements arrived under the command of the king's knight, William Marshall. All right, uh, defend Lincoln Castle until he arrives. We got villagers. Oh, I don't feel very safe going out of here. We'll see if we can start pushing. And what do I want to do with these guys? Oh, do I have no command center? Ooh. Interesting. Well, oh my gosh, that's a lot of guys. When in doubt, the mangles come out. And then I need wood, I guess? I have a lot of money. Send you guys out the back. Oh no, I said I wasn't going to make these anymore. What's, uh, what else costs wood? Veteran Spearman. Yeah, that's what I want. I'm really trying to vary my play. I want to experience everything. We haven't gone big infantry energy yet. Not requirements town center. Oh, I don't have a town center, so I can't build like anything. And there's no way to return these resources. Oh, that's gonna be lame. All right, I guess we're defending with what we got. I don't like that decision. It feels very weird. I can't build a town center, right? Pretty sure I can't. I'm not sure where I would try. House. I think it's one of these things that's gone. University. House is advanced technology that benefits... Ooh. That sounds fun. Is it really men at arms we want? Or spearmen we want? I think it is. I think spearmen are the way to play. No horses, because they cost a better balance of resources. Oh, we do have a lumber mill here. Okay. We're attacking from this side. Let's see what we can do. And we have the resources to upgrade one of these to a spring gall. We're going to do this far one, because it hasn't taken any damage yet. And just keep trying to push. If I have to restart, the ability to start mining lumber early is going to be very helpful. I'll keep that in mind. They were very uh, not clear about resources here. It was definitely a, you are completely under attack, figure it out yourself sort of thing. Which, okay, I'll do my best. I might be able to start making Spearman again. Oh, look at this. This is going to be... Oh. AOEM, 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 teach them the might. Oh, it's so much damage. Goodbye, enemy frontline. It was nice knowing you. Lots of spearmen go. These spears look really weird. They've got, like, things coming off of them? I don't know. It's probably lore accurate. Lore. It's probably realistic. That's the word. discovered a building belonging to the rebels. To secure Lincoln, they would need to destroy the rebels' military structures. Where? Military structure? Yeah, we can do that. I think we're supposed to be defending still, so she's telling me this a little bit prematurely, but whatever. Two of them are on this same area, so that's pretty good. Oh. Run forward. You can't really dodge those because of how fast they fire. Those rocks are just ridiculously speedy.
military building, and then there's some treasure over here. That'll be pretty good. Oh wait, I can't spend it, can I? Because everything costs food. Oh, did they? Oh, there's a bunch of food in the treasure chest. How did they break through? Did they? I'm not sure. Oh, here they are. Found them. Oh, it's because I didn't bring these two archers to help out earlier. Good thing this is the one I upgraded. Oh, wow, they're hitting from every angle now. They got so pissed at me. Here, stab it. Nice. Now run. Back. 33 seconds to live. Dealing a lot of damage to this tower. Yeah, I'm starting to think that moving out on my own was a really bad idea here. I should have just waited for the reinforcements. <laughs> that and, you know, not making archers. But we're going to declare this is the problem for now. Take it down, please. At last, the king's knight, yes. William Marshall, arrived with his forces. There we go. Ooh, While he's a knight. Battle remained, there was now hope for the young king's army. I'm just going to A move that army over here and hope that they get here. Definitely got to protect these towers. There's a lot of guys still coming in. <gasps> a base. William Marshall's forces were welcomed in Stowe, a nearby town loyal to the king. Nice. Kind of wish we could have that earlier. I wonder if the way triggers work, if we could just walk a guy down here at the beginning and capture this, because that would make life infinitely better. We need elite. If I have to reset this, I'm not going to get the manacles. Instead, I'll get elite spearmen. They do have gold here. It's very weird to me how giant the gold mines are. They're just, they're absolutely titanic. I assume people were having a hard time seeing them or something. But like, look at how big this is. That's not realistic. For a game that's trying to be realistic, I'm pretty sure that at no point in time giant hunks of gold were common in the English countryside. I could be wrong, though. I, just, I don't think they'd have to have invaded so many people if that's what it was actually like. I wish there was a place I could use this market. So let's see if we can take down these buildings like we're supposed to. Use the charge ability. What does it do? Increase attack damage and movement speed. Nice. So what are the buildings I'm supposed to destroy? Oh, the keep must survive. Well, that sucks. The king's army could not allow the keep to fall. So we have to destroy these buildings, but we have to get on top of them first, and we're actually not going to win this fight. Uh, I might be making a mistake on the spearman front. They don't seem very good. Anti-cavalry. Oh, they're a specialist, I see. It's kind of weird that the base unit is a specialist. The men-at-arms is the more generalist. Pull back to help defend. Do I have any idle workers? I do not. People are doing pretty well on their own. I have ten guys on wood, which is far too many. We go one, two, three. Get you guys to help there as well. That's going to be enough guys on food for a sack. Oh, they're aggressive. Then there's like men at arms upgrades that I can get. They're very expensive, and I don't have the Imperial Age yet. Armor clad here it is 450 
gold, which I'm about to have. And my barracks is down, so I can no longer produce here, except for from this castle. I think I'm dead. I genuinely believe that I am about to die here. It's just another one of those ones where you just gotta sit around for the countdown timer. Which I get. I was being stubborn once again, and I built too many freaking spearmen. <laughs> they're just, they're so bad. Enemy forces continued their assault on the keep, and if not stopped soon, the castle would be lost. Eh, we'll see. Whatever happens, happens, narrator. This is history. Rescue my leader. I can't. No, I guess I can. Oh, I can't. All right. Let's try this again, but with uh, not a specialist unit that is only good against one thing. Yeah, they went crazy at the end. I'm pretty sure the way that you got to play this is hold off as much as you can for as long as possible with ranged units. And then as soon as the knights get there, you just blitz through everything to secure the area. If they have all that production, then you're just dead. Caro Stasis, thank you for the fifth month subscription. It should be a lot more smooth this time. Because I know about the secret lumber. Mm. And at arms. I really genuinely believe I gotta go crossbowman here. Which is just an answer I don't like. Is there a way to snipe those? I don't know. Also, I'm going to grab you and send you down there just to see what happens. Because lumber doesn't matter that much. Yeah, okay. Archers it is. And we can get some spring golds to go with it. Maybe I, maybe I don't want to build men-at-arms at all. They're such a waste of money. Not when I have no economy. When I can put a ton of money into things, then it might be a lot better. Increases the armor. Oh, I think we gotta go pure range. Then these just exist effectively to burn down the siege weapons and then retreat. So what happens when we go over here? Absolutely nothing. I think I need to keep these guys on the walls. I have so much money this time. Actually need to cancel some of these. And build a billion of them over here. I'll get some crossbowmen and some crossbowmen. That should be the end of that. My army will actually get bigger instead of smaller as I fight, and then I'll win. I see, so they have to go to a door, and then they can instantly teleport up from that door. That's how it works. It's a very weird system with the walls, and I don't think it works super great. But it's a really cool idea, and I would like to see it a little bit more refined. Because it it adds a whole lot extra level of historical realism that I think has been lost a lot of the time. Careful. I'm actually not sure if my army is getting bigger or smaller. Wasn't really paying attention to supply, but I did kind of feel like I lost a lot right there. Oh no, I had a bunch of guys down south that accidentally cleared. So these mine over here. Three minutes for Lincoln. I need to use charge as soon as he's available too. That'll be really helpful. 
One thing that's very awkward about production is that the cat or the keep has the ability to produce effectively every unit. However, A, it doesn't have hotkeys, and B, if you have it in a hotkey with another unit and you hit to produce, let's say, longbowmen, it'll add them to the queue. So you're like incentivized to have this building that doesn't have hotkeys in your hotkeys with your other buildings, but you don't want to have all your buildings on the same hotkey, it's it's kind of a mess. So instead I'm going to put a bunch of fires on the ground and heal my guys for whatever reason. The system doesn't seem that well thought out. They are going to crack me. A lot of siege weapons this time. Maybe they did last time as well. I'm starting to get the feeling that the uh, the spearmen were doing about the same job here. If it goes wrong again, I'm gonna try going horsemen plus siege weapons because that it money's out really well. The horsemen cost almost only food, and then the siege weapons cost not food. Every other resource. Did that guy just micro out for a sec? What is he doing? The AI is so funny. It's it's not quite sure what it wants at any point in time. Oh. Try to split. See who it's targeting. I'm not sure how to engage these. Okay, this one's in a bad position. We gotta target fire it before it gets a volley off. Got it. Luckily, my tower seems to have automatically targeted that down. I thought that it would have a higher range than me, but looks like that is not the case, and I am effectively out of money. Let's put some fires down. I like that you get, like, feelable lag when you drop that many fires. And then, oh, they destroy themselves pretty quick. That's weird. Well, all but two of them did. Six seconds. Okay, I do have a lot more than I did last time. I think this is a very good place to be. I'm going to get the cavalry, bring it over, and we're going to start knocking down these buildings real quick. Having the archery supports going to be super strong. At last, the King's Knight William Marshall arrived with his forces. While a hard battle remained, there was now hope for the young King's army. Yeah. In order to liberate the city surrounding the castle, William Marshall commanded the King's men to destroy the military buildings belonging to the rebels. I see, so that's how the triggers are supposed to go. It's not supposed to be talking about that half an hour before. That was my bad. William Marshall's forces were welcomed in stone, a nearby town loyal to the king. Here comes the siege. Oh, ugh, the defaulting. So another thing that's annoying is if you have these on the same hotkey, the building that doesn't have a hotkey for the archer is the one that gets selected first. Oh, that's a really bad system. I just, I don't know why they have a building that has no hotkeys. I thought I'd leave the hotkey goblin in other games. I don't want it to chase me here. See how good this army is. I think that I want to surround with the knights. They deal so much damage. Take that down so it can't retreat. The knights are going to deal enough damage to take this out. Knights finish this off and we retreat over here. Try to take down the manacles first because they do insane damage and then run, 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 run. 
it doesn't work. Why do I keep trying to do that? I just need to sit there and accept the fact that as soon as it exists, I'm going to take a ton of damage. Which is, it's lame, but it doesn't feel super microbial against. Enemy forces broke through and threatened the heart of the stronghold. I guess the actual answer is that you have to be pre-split. <laughs> they made it through, I don't really care. I would rather focus down their production facilities right now. <laughs> okay, the way that they work with the campfire is funny. The campfires look like they destroy other campfires in their area because it's too easy to spam. But maybe that's the problem. Maybe campfire is too easy to spam. We'll put a band-aid solution on that one. The king's men tore through the rebel fortifications, diminishing the enemy's military presence. So hopefully, yeah, that's a siege workshop. Taking that out is going to be incredible. I would like to kill this and then return home. The castle now faced a new attack. What? From the rebels' French allies. French? Ah! I hate it when the French backstab me. Like, why does it just keep happening? And it's not just in game two, it's in real life. Oh, I absolutely could allow the keep to fall. I don't know why she says these things. <laughs> like, I, it's absolutely within my level of ability here. Let's get a, what is this called? Oh gosh. Oh no. Mill. There we go. <laughs> Two more buildings. Two more buildings to deal with. That's it. If the king's men hope to lift the French siege, they would need to destroy the enemy force. All the king's horses and all the king's men need to destroy the French's castle again. Yeah, these archers are overkill real hard. Look at that, they're firing 50, 60 bolts at one guy. Which is impressive because there's only 26 of them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we get a couple guys over there. And make sure I get these economy upgrades that I can't get. The king's army had almost regained control of the city. I'm so excited to gain control of the city. I'm just going to target it down, and then I'm going to retreat. I don't care if the king gets stuck. Okay, I kind of care. Oh, they don't go that far. So we could set this up over there and target the last one down, and then we might be good. Which is great, because this whole area is not looking fine. You're going to be the hero. Run, 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 run. Save Willy. Nope. Now nah, those heat-seeking missiles are just not going to let me through. The King's army raised the last of the rebels' military buildings, but the French siege continued. Destroy the southern fort eight of... That's a lot of fort. Oh, gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Age of Empires is not responding. Oh, it worked. Okay. Is everything okay on stream? I would appreciate some confirmation because it definitely was crashing right there. Okay, it's, it's doing good. That's great. Thank you. I probably need some more guys on the wood now. And I need a lot more barracks. It's very odd that I'm not allowed to lose this, so I have to, like, go build my production facilities here? 
All right, I'll do it. Just feels odd. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna cancel some of those siege weapons so I can get. Hello, how are you? Please don't kill my workers. Oh yeah, you missed. Perfect. We're gonna get these men at arms to take down that. These guys are just very lost and confused. Like I often am. We'd make good allies. Oh, he just decided to come in this door. Oh, the AI pathing in this game is not good. I wanted to wait a little bit longer to actually figure out how I felt about it. But they wanted to hit this wall. So they went up over here, back around, in here, down, and clicked it. That's what they decided was the best way to do it. That's just not really acceptable. It's horrible. Men at arms. I will need the upgrade for them as well, but I need the Imperial Age for that. I don't think I can safely get Imperial Age yet because I'm tech transitioning. Once all the barracks are up, I might be able to get it. We only have two people working on it. How much does it cost? Let's check. It is... That's a keep. 1,600 food. So I probably need another farm worth of people. This is eight. We need seven to build eight farms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm out of lumber. When you're playing multiplayer, do you get easier access to more town halls? Or, oh no, this is, yeah. I've been playing so much Age of Mythology, I have been waiting for the positions that it tells you you can build town halls. And that's just not how this game works, is it? I really need to be getting more of those so that I can actually have production or have good worker production. The economy's biggest limiter seems to be workers. There's all these Age of games, they change everything every time. 1200 gold is not how much I have. I don't know why I said that. That's going down pretty quick. We have 135 wood per minute. I am close to what I want economically. I just gotta be careful. And the French seems to have pacified quite a bit. Which is very fortunate for me. An angry Frenchman is not something I'm ever equipped to deal with. Blacksmith costs 150 wood. So we'll grab that. Make sure that we have all the upgrades. Did they nerf the town hall selection noise? Uh, yes. So when I click on the town hall, I'll do it for you. That's what you hear now, instead of the loud ding dong. Oh, I forgot about my leader. Let's go get him. So after that, let's hit the advance to the next age. I'm going to go with this one. No. Because I have to build it over here. So having the super defensive place over here doesn't seem as useful. This seems to be the end of the British people. William Marshall's been injured again. <laughs> he has such a tough life. Hit charge. I hotkeyed my blacksmith to my good thing. And we take this down. Now we're in good shape. Bring it on, French. Oh, they're bringing it on. Would you look at that? And they actually took a pretty good position accidentally. 
the siege tower is definitely not the smartest guy. But that's to be expected at this point. So now I have the ability to queue up a bunch of these armies and they will just give me awesome stuff as time goes on. That ability is incredible once you get it upgraded. Each farm worked by a villager gets one gold. Ooh. Trebuchet's projectiles shatter on impact. Oh, uh, this is where that uh, archer ability comes from that I couldn't figure out before. I'm starting to figure things out. It's They give you so much random stuff without telling you what it is from or anything like that. Sometimes it takes a bit. I'm getting it. We don't want the keep. It doesn't build anything that sexy. There we go. I'm just going to stick my economy like this for a bit. Oh no, I'm almost out of gold. Oh. I didn't think about that. Good thing I've been upgrading for a gold-based composition. We're going to have to go exploring. We're going to take Man Wounded at arms and send him this way. The naming thing for them is so funny to me. It's like Lame Man at arms and then Waiting Man at arms. And then it's Man at arms and then it's Elite Man at arms. It feels like having a slightly cooler name for them would be nice. But... <laughs> Can't really complain. Just like the lamest man at arms. Where is the Master Smith? And I don't see any good approachable gold. Yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. I guess we're supplementing with spearmen for a bit. While we continue to scout. I have 200 gold remaining, and I definitely want to spend it on those armies. Because each one of those trebuchets costs 800 gold, but it costs 200 to buy that and all of his friends. What'd you fire at? What are we shooting? <gasps> there we go. The big gold. Got 16 people heading over here. Building the mining camp and then mining all the gold. Send the army to go secure it. This is going to be the most important thing we've ever done. Remember that time we got a world record? No. Remember that time that we raised uh, $12,000 to help people out? No. Getting this gold mine. Let's get a couple more of those too. <gasps> no! They were too perfectly positioned. There's no way I ever could have seen this happen, even though I ran into these guys earlier. I need a market for the mythic area. Dude, you think that I can afford Medusa right now? You're crazy. Use charge, increase movement speed, take this down. Wait. Oh, a gold mine! That's cool. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ah, okay. This other gold mine has less French. You need a good gold to French people ratio, otherwise you're going to be in a tough one. Impressively good at fighting, the French are. I mean, historically, that's always been true. Even when they get made fun of, they did a very good job. Thank you, uh, Adorius, for the second month sub. I appreciate it. Uh, 
I have a feeling that, yep, <laughs> that is exactly the feeling that I was going to have. It felt suspiciously long since the last time that they had attacked me. Okay, use the trebuchet to target down their siege weapon. Let's see how much damage it does. Oh, <laughs> two shot. I like it. Somehow we're having a melee battle on the wall. <laughs> sure, why not? I don't care. How are we doing in terms of gold income? Not great. But better than before. Oh, we're sending people right to their deaths. So my thought about uh, infantry right now is they seem kind of garbage because of how slow they are. It's... You really feel it. The archer at least has the range to go with it that helps out. The horsemen obviously very, very quick. But this glacial pacing makes it very difficult to actually use the unit. They don't... Obviously, I don't know much about the game yet. I can't make a definitive decision, but they don't feel worth it, given how much they cost, how powerful they are, compared to being so slow. I guess they can escort siege weapons as a result, right? However, it more or less feels like knights would be better. What are my thoughts on the game so far? I think it's pretty fun. Uh, difficulty curve is kind of garbage. The game doesn't seem super, super balanced, but no RTS is ever balanced on release. But all in all, very positive impression. I'm having fun, and that's really the thing that matters, right? Let's uh, get upgrades. I'm always overwhelmed with just all the random things that I have to get. I've been ignoring economy upgrades for effectively ever, but whatever. Uh, where? I built a blacksmith. Oh, I just have all the blacksmith upgrades. I got it. Oh, no. Oh. They're here again. I thought I'd have more than four seconds between the two attacks. And if this dies, I dies. We're going to pull these over to the gate and try to fight them at a choke point just to buy time. The battering rams are going for my production facilities. That's okay. See if we can target the ram down. Oh no, the ram is going right for it. We got the trebuchets attacking the ram. Here, set these up. Please set up. There we go. Then you guys can fire a volley to try to take this down. Oh, got it. Okay. And I think I have a good enough army to invade now. I've been pushed back, but they double attacked me, so it's probably going to be a while before they can hit me again. And I am going to grab some workers and just rally them to this castle for repairs. The trebuchets also look ridiculous when they're deploying. I'm just going to throw that out there. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's go. I'm actually going to hit the charge button just for that movement speed bonus so I can get to this area as fast as I can. Good, good, good. An attack wave. Hey, where are you going? Oh, they were going to attack my main base. That would have been pretty spicy. Not in a good way for me, but it would have been spicy. Instead, they're going to get crushed. We don't have charge ready. Set up some camp for some heals. Why not? And keep heading out. So these guys are just going to chill here to defend because I don't want to get counterattacked and killed. I think my army is big enough. I probably need a university so I can actually check what these upgrades are because it said that it has some fancy ones for me. And I like fancy. All right, let's go. Oh, 
There we go. It's a little bit difficult to unselect units from control groups because you can't click on portraits in this game. I'm sure that there's a better way to do it and I just don't know it yet. Gotta wait for these. I'm really excited for the university. I hope it has cool stuff. I don't know what it would possibly have that's that neat, but I'm looking forward to it. What do we got? Elite veteran. Just oh, that's the wrong button. Ten fire armor to all transports. Health of cavalry by twenty percent. Health of buildings by fifty percent. That seems good. Construction time of transports. What? Why is it all about transports? I don't care about transports. There it goes. The king's men uncovered one of the French forces' siege camps near Lincoln. I'm really scared about the counterattack. You guys go in there. Hold these back just in case. Hold that W key. Then the siege weapons take everything down in their base while the men at arms just stab. Oh, that ability rocks. move forward again. Let's try to get through their crappy wooden walls. I lost a lot of supply here. Oh, there they are. I knew it. It's how it always goes. Especially with armies this slow, getting counterattacked is just an inevitability. But we held. That means we can send another wave to reinforce, and we should be able to take out this fort without much more issue. The sound when the trebuchet fires is so good. <laughs> mm, I really like it. Sound design is so important in RTS, and like, I don't know, some of the sounds in this game are not the greatest. Like, the archers just have like, or whatever. But man. Oh, the creaky sound is so good. I know that's a weird thing to be really, really excited about, but I am. Yeah, but real life stuff doesn't necessarily sound good. It's about being able to like capture it well and all that kind of stuff. It's hard to capture the sound of a trebuchet properly. First of all, you need a trebuchet. Oh, this guy is so dead. There's like two more buildings that I can't quite get to. Oh, they're raiding a freaking lumber mill. Oh, these guys. Why do I have 22 idle workers? This area better be clear. Oh, seven idle in here. Yeah, they can mine some gold. Okay, we're going to take our final little trek into here. They have no production remaining. It's just they had a bunch of archers, and the archers were kind of crushing me. I need more production, actually. Let's get... Monastery, keep... Barracks. There we go. Now we can reproduce a lot more fast. I don't know why it's the houses. Are you kidding? Why are there random archer? Okay. We're going to citizens arrest these guys. Let's see how strong the workers actually are. They got gold in their bag and they're ready to shank. Ah! Pretty good. Oh, 
Okay. One down is going to be infinitely easier to deal with because the attack waves will come in the same direction that we're attacking. And that's the important part. It's much easier to defend if your army's already headed that way. You probably get that mining upgrade. I think there's a farming upgrade that I never got as well. Yeah, would you look at that. I'm doing 10% less food than I should be this entire time. Oh, they use their... Other villagers don't use their bow. That's interesting. They really went all in on the bow idea here, didn't they? I'm actually running low on troops. I'm going to keep pushing this direction. With these building. Hopefully we can get this infrastructure up so I can produce more quickly. And then I'll be able to basically parade push my way to victory. This might be too many trebuchets. Is that possible? That guy's house says no. I can build elite spearmen if I need. If gold really becomes an issue. Oh, how do you think they attack? I wonder. I'm actually not sure how to get there without being counterattacked. I'm scared. We're gonna go this way. I'm going to leave Jonathan over here to spot. And then we're gonna find out where the enemy attack wave comes from. I just... I don't know where it's going to be, guys. I hope we can figure this mystery out together. <laughs> Click button, enemy explodes about four seconds later. It's beautiful. Though it does take forever to set up. This would be so much stronger if I had the ability to chase them down. That's really what the men at arms are lacking, is like the enemy tries to retreat or something, and I'm just like, well, have a nice trip. See you later. I can't punish. This is very far away. This is another map where they just don't use most of the map. It feels... I don't like it. I don't feel that incentivized to explore. I guess one of the things about Age of Empires is that the entire map is resources, right? So having stuff for it is always good, but it feels very odd when the incentive combined with the insane aggression of the AI means that why would I ever go across? Why would I go? I don't know what's over here, and I never will know. It just doesn't matter. One of the things that Warcraft 3 did very well with its heroes and stuff is it gave incentive to explore every single corner of the map. But this doesn't seem to have taken that into account. Oh, we gotta go across the tiny stone bridge. I wonder what its weight capacity is. Wouldn't that be funny if you just put too many trebuchets on the bridge, it just over exceeds capacity and it just breaks? <laughs> oh, that would be such a mechanic. In Company of Heroes 2, that can actually happen. They're iced over lakes and rivers. And if you take the super heavy, extremely expensive tanks that you spend like five or six minutes saving up for over it, then often it will just break and one-shot the tank and it is the most infuriating experience. I really should have just gone this way, huh? I took my army from here, went all the way up, over here, over here, back down, all the way down, and over there. It, it was a three second march. I have done a very dumb thing. 
It's actually, one sec, I need to make sure that I have uh, MSI Afterburner running because I want to be graphing the system performance here. There we go. Sorry about that. I can feel that my FPS is pretty bad right now. Maybe. Here we go. This should be the end. We're going to set up right outside. We're going to take their towers down, and they should just die. Set our rally right over here. Yeah, what is my FPS? Oh, gosh. Yeah, it is dipping to 25. And for reference, I am on a 9700K and a 2080 Super. So I'm not on a bad piece of equipment here. Hmm. One thing worth mentioning is that it doesn't feel horrible at low FPS. Because some games just objectively feel way worse when you're playing at low FPS, but it's still quite low in these big things. Alright, we dive in. Try to get these in. Bring everything we have, just the infinite line of soldiers coming out forever and ever. And we're doing the parade push. Oh, my shoulder's really starting to get to me. I might not be able to stream for as long as I want it. Because my shoulder hurts. I need to actually pay attention to that. My goodness. We got wrecked. We're gonna win, but we definitely had some hard time there. As long as we can keep these safe, it's fine, though. Uh, Willie's down again. Uh, Willie's up again. Oh, I didn't use his ability. We're just gonna ignore these random guys, but the infinite parade is here. And that is the power of macro, my friends. Doesn't matter how many times your William Marshall gets injured. Also, they're not sieging up their trebuchets, really, or their manigals. They are now, but they probably just keep them sieged. Target down the buildings with those. The boys keep coming. Hmm. Yeah, is this going to be the last mission of this campaign? Does anyone know? But kind of a weird question given the game came out today, but it feels like it is. And I might have to stop here because my shoulder just like really started hurting. Yeah, I don't see anything else that could be happening right here. Getting one campaign done per day seems pretty good. I have a lot to write about anyway. There we go. So, uh, once, once the giant army died, things stabilized back at 60 FPS again. It's, it might just be the fact that I had so many models on screen because I was going for the really cheap unit. Ah, this house. There we go. This is why I stream three hours a day. William normally. Marshall and Nicola de la Haye had saved the city, and with it, the kingdom. And Britain was never attacked again. Okay. Oh, let's see what they have to say. William Marshall's success in retaking Lincoln was an overwhelming victory for the Royalists. The rebel barons had been defeated and their French allies driven out of England altogether. 
These guys eye closed. William Marshall now focused on creating a stable kingdom for the young King Henry III. To maintain the backing of the rebels, in 1217, a royal seal of approval was given to a reissued Magna Carta, limiting the power of the monarchy. I love seals, they're so cute. Many barons held lands in both England and Normandy. But now they faced a choice. On which side of the channel would they make their home? Many chose England. Many also chose the Normandy, though. The cross-channel kingdom was over, Weird establishing a clear English identity. But the impact of the Normans on England's evolution is still felt today. Almost a thousand years later, the surviving Norman castles and cathedrals still dominate the landscape. In the midst of the modern city, William the Conqueror's fortress, the Tower of London, remains a powerful reminder of their legacy. But it's the unseen influence of the Normans that endures. We watched that clip before. <laughs> They're reusing them. The Norman invasion changed the English language and established the foundations of modern parliament and governance. And it's all because one man, William the Conqueror, claimed the English crown that he believed by rights was his. Wait, we just went through- The Normans conquered a country and changed the course of England forever. I really hate great man history, especially right after we spent five and a half hours going through all the different things that a ton of different people did. And then they're just like, it was all this guy. I hate that. History is the culmination of the efforts of tens or hundreds of thousands and millions of people, not just single people. All right, guys, I'm going to have to end the stream today.